Gleb Svetoslavovich was the Prince of Kiev and Rus. He ruled Timutarakan under the overall authority of his father, Svetoslav Yaroslavovich, Prince of Chernigov. He was twice expelled from his principality by one of his cousins, Rastislav Vladimirovich. His father appointed him Prince of Novgorod. According to Novgorodian sources, the citizens of the town rose in revolt and dethroned Gleb in 1078 CE. He fled to the lands beyond the river Volkhov, known as Zavalochia, where the Chudes killed him. His body was transferred to Chernigov, where he was buried in the Holy Savior Cathedral on 23rd of July, in the year 1078. From his remains, DNA was extracted. Gleb resembles Eastern European Slavs, particularly Ukrainians, with PCA-based ethnicity calculators such as G25. I gathered his raw DNA and ran it through my trait predictor tool for genetic analysis. Here is Gleb's predicted phenotype. Gleb likely had green eye color, dark brown hair color, olive skin color, which is a rather typical complexion for Slavic Eastern Europeans. He is predicted to have had wavy hair texture and snub nose shape, which are also typical traits for Eastern Slavs. Unfortunately for Gleb, he had a very strong predisposition to hemoglobin E disease, gout, which is a rare condition among Europeans, age-related macular degeneration, atrial fibrillation, epilepsy, leukemia, male pattern baldness, ADHD, type 2 diabetes, thyroid cancer, polycythemia vera, and Alzheimer's. Fortunately for Gleb, he had some protection from a number of conditions, including migraine, eczema, polycystic ovary syndrome, myopia, stroke, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, multiple sclerosis, breast cancer, and testicular cancer. Gleb also carried risk variants for a number of rare conditions, including Riefenstein syndrome, porphyria, and familial hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Links to purchase Gleb's DNA in 23andMe format, as well as my trait predictor tool, are in the description of the video.